Hello everybody. Wanted to show you my Hackintosh here. This is Citrix ADC MPX slash SDX 11500. It's showing 52 gigabytes of memory, but it really it's 48 gigs. But before previously it was only showing 24 gigs. And I want to show you the process for updating your Clover config plist file. So the way to do that is to download the Clover configurator. Where is it? Oh, it's going to be in my it's going to be in my applications. Oops. Clover configurator. All right. Download your Clover configurator and go to mount EFI. Go to the disk that you're booting from. In this case, it's my Sierra disk. I'm going to say mount partition. You mount the partition. The EFI partition should show up over here on the right side. Give it a couple of seconds. There it is. OK. Open up the EFI partition. Make sure you get the right partition. Now, go into EFI. Go into Clover. And the Clover plist is what you want. Now, you might want to copy it copy it and save it to your desktop as a backup just in case you screw anything up but once you've backed it up you can click on it uh, open it in Clover and I believe this is the 5.9 latest version that I have on here and what you want to do is go into SMBIOS SMBIOS now here in the memory it's going to be blank and all you want to do is in this case I have six one sorry I have six 8 gig memory modules, 6 out of the 12 kip spots, and you're going to just click over your channels. It's triple channel in this case. There's 6 slots, so I want to do that. That's what I added, and then I added, starting with slot 0, the memory. These are just down clicks, right? I mean, there, it's 89, 12. That's not 8 gigs. It's more than 8 gigs, but anyhow, I, let, I leave it. It's the closest to what, what I have there. The frequency, I'm, I'm leaving it at 1600 because that's what this Hackintosh dis de 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 detected previously. And vendor, just type in unknown, and then the type is DDR3. Once you do that, you can duplicate that six times, and then you have to go into each one of these and change the slot number. So slot 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 in my case. Then you're going to do a file save or command save or no what is that apple save whatever the apple key save right and then close it and uh, I'm not going to save this because I've already saved it close it uh, okay I didn't make any changes I didn't make any changes so it's not a big deal so that'll change everything and then you can reboot and when you reboot you should see at least at least 48 gigs. In this case, it's 52 gigs because what would that, whatever that number was, 8,800 times 6 is 52, not 8 times 6, which is 40, 40, uh, 48. 6 times 8 is 48. So that's the solution. That's how you get it going. And that's how you get all access to full, full memory. So, man, this is just such a great solution. I hope you guys have a chance to get your hands on an SDX or MPX 11,500 so you can do this. In the background, you can hear it's it, the the I'm standing right in front of the 11,500, where I've got two monitors connected to this ATI Radon HD5870. I mean, it's considered an obsolete video card, but this is still a very powerful card. It was considered a decent mid-range card in 2010, and you can pick them up for you know probably 50 bucks, 60 bucks. I recommend it. It works great in this scenario, and have fun. Oh, by the way. Check out my book, Netscaler Hacks, where I talk about everything you need to do to get a Citrix Netscaler, specifically the legacy Netscalers, to run OSX and do many other amazing things that you never even thought of.